Hello, Kent State College Democrats. I'm Portage County Commissioner Kathleen Clyde. And as we know, uh, Monday, May 4th, marks the 50th anniversary of the shootings at Kent State. In normal times, our community would gather together to reflect and remember, uh, but these are not normal times. So I truly appreciate your desire to pay tribute with this video series you're putting together. I look forward to seeing the other videos I know you have coming from some very special guests. Some of those who were shot on May 4th, 1970, were taking part in an anti-war protest. Others were just walking to class. Four students died that day. Jeffrey Miller, Allison Krauss, William Schroeder, and Sandra Schuer, and nine others were injured. And many more came away with the unseen wounds of trauma, scars that they would carry with them for the rest of their lives. Our community and the nation were stunned. For many in our community, it was easier just to forget and try to move on. Yet there were others who were touched by the tragedy who never stopped trying to heal the wounds and who worked tirelessly to bring us together. Because of their work, at the top of a hill on campus of Kent State University, there is a memorial to these tragic events. There's a plaza with a jagged edge leading to four prone granite rectangles, each symbolizing a student that was killed. The memorial has little adornment and etched in the granite floor are the words, inquire, learn, reflect. Its simplicity speaks for itself. This current crisis we are in with the coronavirus pandemic will also pass. And when it does, there will be some who simply want to quickly move on. But we in Kent know that healing requires understanding. We understand that the failure to confront the past is the failure to move on from it. We recognize that ignoring tragedy does not make it disappear. We must face the disparities and inequalities that made this pandemic so deadly. We must face the unheeded warnings and the policy failures. And we must face the pain and suffering experienced by our communities. Only by doing so will we heal and learn to better see our shared humanity rather than just our differences. Remember Kent State friends, inquire, learn, reflect, then act. Thank you.